I'm, I'm well known, almost universally known in this industry as someone who doesn't know tech at all. Uh, your dad, your daddy <laughs> is my guru. Um, and, and not only do I not know it, I don't care. I only want to, I want to press a button and carry on. So when someone says, you know, you got to need this DAW and that, and my question is what's DAW? Um, you know, I need, I need to understand what I don't understand. And I need to say, you know, it, unless I want to study, uh, oh my God, it, what the scarlet interface, I don't, I don't know what it does. I don't care what it does. If I need it, I'll do it, plug it in and let me go. I don't care. I like what I do, which is acting. I think in this business, especially with the do-it-yourself times and the home studio stuff, which has made the business grow so exponentially, uh, actors are required to also be technical editors. And being able to um, read Christopher Moore's noir in a winning way doesn't mean that I understand Reaper or Studio One or Pro Tools. Hell, we had Pro Tools. That's what I learned on. I didn't really learn. That's the thing I was experienced with. When I started in this business, I never had, there wasn't a home studio. I went to studios and editors did stuff. I never had to learn. And while I appreciated what they knew, I didn't care. I wanted them to do it. And I left them alone. They left me alone. But once I had to do my home studio, I needed to learn enough to, to hit record and consolidate and the other stuff. And, 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 and Donald, Donald sure will tell everybody that I, <laughs> I'm one of his uh, people who, um, I'm, he uses me as an example. I'm one of the people who I don't want to know. I don't want to, I want to make this as easy as possible. So do it yourself. Yes. If, if you're so inclined, if you sent me to build a birdhouse, you, you know, it's just not happening. I, I, I don't, I don't know how to cut the wood. I'm, I'm not good. I'm, I'm, I know what I'm good at and, and certain, I'm good at plain labor, but skilled labor, I have no clue and technical stuff. I, I don't know. I, I have a vague understanding. You know, the source connect you're supposed to connect with for home and stuff. I had it and I had, I was on the phone with them for forever. And I finally got rid of it. I said, I, just, I don't, I don't get this at all. Just bring me to a studio. <laughs> I just, you know, and so I may be a bit of a Luddite, but I, I know yeah, it. Yeah, but, uh, but okay. First, I agree. You're a Luddite. All right. I'll put that up front. But you're a smart Luddite. Okay. Because... <laughs> One of the things that I've seen over and over again, you're not afraid to reach out for assistance in the cases where you have something come up any more than I drive a car and I'm darn good at it. I've got over a million miles. When I put the car in reverse, I still don't understand how that transmission makes my tires go backward. And I'm in the 60s. I, when I was a young guy, changed out engines. I did clutches and brakes as a very young guy a young adult. So I know a fair amount about cars and the principles and I still don't know how that <laughs> transmission works and I don't care. I'm at that age where it's like, I'll hire. If my transmission's not working, I go to a mechanic. And what I've seen about you is that you have a specialty. You're focused on being the best you can be in one area. And like me with the transmission, when I need help, JR is my mechanic. I know who I'll call JR. Hey, I need to bring this in. And you've called me occasionally where you had something come up and you make the call and you're yeah. not afraid to go, hey, I need help on this thing as opposed to, oh, Johnny Hella, I know it all in every area. That's not you at all. And you're appropriate yeah. about it. So you're crazy focused on doing parts of it and then offloading other parts. I think that's a smart business. 